Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that I found going around the world of Transformers and let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Russ. So I'm going to give you a recap, obviously, of the fan stream that happened earlier. Uh, we've got some much better images than the ones that I had in the previous videos. I've also got some other companies' news as well and indeed, of course, lots of other things to show you that's available on shows right now right so we're going to start off with the fan stream that i know a lot of people said was disappointing myself included i would have liked to have seen a few more things but i'll come to that in a minute so i've got these images via tfw 2005 the first thing that they showed were these coins these are limited edition there's two different sets at varying different prices and they're selling out quite fast so if you're after coins and they're your thing then you can get these only on hasbro pulse and you can get them right now the next thing we saw was the fact that they were going to be, I suppose, it's, I think it's like a reissue, but they've upscaled it, put a few more tracks on it. It's from the 2018 and it's an LP, so it's an album um, of the Generation 1 music. They've managed to redo, remix the opening theme, etc. And they interviewed the artist, which is quite interesting, to be fair. Um, there they are chatting to him there. He's got some great figures in the background. Uh, sounds like a really nice person and his artwork obviously looked amazing. I know that lots of people in the chat for some reason they were really unhappy because obviously they just wanted to see some toys but I think it's always great to appreciate anybody who's got artistic talent to be fair and he obviously clearly has so if you want to see his interview and see the artwork regarding the new LP it does look really good and it's worthwhile having a quick watch. Then what we got to see and I'm going to use the word unfortunately here was because we'd already we'd seen these briefly overnight um, not proper proper images but where they first and foremost showed the mutants Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover which looks great there's the official packaging um, and then we've got some official images here as well so what I like about this is there's all four of them but there's also you've got the party wagon there which is of course the alternate mode and then you've got here what I would call a generic turtle. So what I mean by generic turtle, you can see there's no headband on and he's also got no accessories. Now this is what I think the best thing is, and I want to reiterate this, that um, you don't need to buy four. You can obviously buy four if you want to, but you don't need to buy four. And I think that's such a great idea by Hasbro to enable the fact that you can change them, interchange the bandana with the different weapons and the accessories on a daily basis, or you can just have your own. Um, I suppose it just saves Nobody really knows who's everybody's favourite is. And of course, it just keeps the cost down because at the moment, with, with everything being as mad as it is, the last thing you really want to do, unless you're a crazy, crazy turtle fan like I'm a Transformers fan, probably will buy four. So I just want to reiterate that to you. So what you've got here is there, of course, Leonardo with his katana saws. Then you've got Donatello with his staff. You've got Michelangelo with the nunchucks. And you've got Raphael with the size. But once again, that is all the same vehicle, all the same toy. These are the accessories that come with him. So again, you can pose amazingly. Again, if you want to see these images without the glare, head to Hasbro Pulse. Most online retailers seem to have this at the moment as well. I've, I think I've got mine from In Demand. Um, and of course, on the TFW 2005 website as well. I'm quite impressed with this. You know, I think it does look really good. Um, I don't really understand the picture of the back of the vehicle, apart from it looks like something from cars. It looks like it's a face or something, but maybe not. They're just showing the fact that you can maybe attach things to the back or maybe they are giving us a little tease of what else the mold can be used for. I don't really know. Um, but just again, just to reiterate, look at that. That's cool as well. You've got the pizza, which is brilliant. The front of the vehicle becomes obviously a shield and the back is obviously a shell. And then again, just to reiterate what I said there on the live stream, they showed all the different bandanas, which again, I think is amazing. Now, the next thing again, I know this is going to split the fandom because... I know that most people who collect G1 are, of course, just going to want um, Squeeze Play. Most people who collect Transformers Prime are just going to want Cliff Jumper. Uh, but I think we're used to the fact now we have to get multi packs for certain figures. But at least what I like there, the fact that they do, is that they do change the decos. They do try and give us something slightly different. But this was leaked by Target, I think, first thing. Uh, this is the Legacy United versus multi pack. So, what we've got here is let me just correct myself because I might have messed it up earlier on so Cyberverse Tarn is just it's just a repaint of the Cyberverse um, and they've given a purple redeco of Legacy Bludgeon Swords with him Squeeze Play is a retool of Mindwipe which is clever and they've also included a little Master Force Browning gun which is brilliant 
Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper, of course, was the Chase retool, and the Beast Wars Tarantula is just a retool and recolor inspired by the prototype seen in the first commercials. So, there's also on TFW 2005 and the um, Hasbro Pulse a uh, full 360 CAD drawings. There are all four of the characters in Robot. There are all four of the characters in alternate mode, and we've got some much, much better images. This is such a clever use of the mind white mold. It's incredible, I think it's great. Um, I've zoomed in here, you're gonna see in a second, on the gun, it, that's just a brilliant, um, and it's the only way, of course, we are going to get a browning figure nowadays. So that's just the little gun there that comes with him. And of course, of course, he's got the Titan Master or Headmasters as they used to be known. So it looks like he's obviously going to sit in and pilot him, which is amazing. Then we've got Prime Cliff Jumper. I really like this, to be fair. And I know that somebody suggested ages ago that that was what they do the mould with. And they've gone and done it straight away. Um, I think it looks great. I think he's just unfortunately really, really outnumbered because it's Cliff Jumper versus all three of these. Tarn is someone that is getting more and more intriguing to me because by my own admission, I haven't read the comics. Um, and I don't know too much about him. I'm really interested. I love the toy. Um, I prefer it for Tarn rather than Bludgeon. I think Bludgeon should have been, perhaps been a different mould. I'm liking this colour scheme as well. I think it works well. I love the fact he's got one of the swords as well. It looks great. Um, and then finally, we've got Tarantulas, the Beast Wars. Again, initial concept image colours. And again, I know, I've told everybody on this channel that the Beast Wars figures are really growing on me at the moment. Um, and have been since the Kingdom toy line. So I'll be happy to add this to my collection as well. So we've got to look at the packaging. As I said, poor old Cliff Jumper versus them all. And there is the back of the box. One other thing I do want to add, and I know that this isn't again gonna be good enough news for anybody who particularly just wants the one figure. I think the price for this um, is incredibly good considering what the, I mean, it's it's coming in at the price of the cost of just the three deluxes at the moment um, on the pre-orders from what I can tell, especially UK prices. It might be slightly different elsewhere. Um, but of course, Tarn's a Voyager and it looks like we're basically getting him for free. I know they're re already used molds, uh, but I think that's a really good price for what, what we're getting. Right, then of course, they also said that they were gonna be reissuing this due to obviously the fact that the Ghostbusters is out as well. Um, and you can now officially pre-order this particular figure with the comic book. No mention of Grimlock just yet. However, they did obviously confirm that with the artwork on the side, that they're gonna be obviously do, doing more of them. And again, just to remind anybody who doesn't really know much about the Takara book collection, have a little Google of the Takara book collection because Takara did this with the generation one reissue figures in the early 2000s. Same principles with the packaging, you opened it up and looked like a book, etc. This is going to be an amazing toy line, and I know loads of people are really, really excited for it. Now, this bit I felt bad for them for because they did they did a through the space bridge again, which of course is basically confirming and telling us figures that they're going to be making or that they are making. And in this particular case, we know that they've made all but one of them and in fact unfortunately for them we've actually seen them sometimes some of them have actually been in shops so the ones they confirmed are uh, studio series bumblebee uh, concept art sunstreaker again some people have reviewed him ages ago but uh, studio series game a side swipe again he's been out in some places for quite some time the great thing is they did confirm that it is a brand new mold and again the old version was just a redeco of jazz uh, Studio Series Bumblebee uh, Shockwave Voyager, again, we know, we've seen it, we've seen images. And then of course this, we know, but as you can see, quite coyly, no actual toy image, just the confirmation, which again, we all knew, because why would they do four Dinobots and not the other? Um, from Studio Series 86, they were still reasonably tight-lipped whether they're gonna reveal anything over at Wonderfest. Uh, this weekend, I think, or WonderCon, whichever one it is. So at 3 p.m. US time, they're gonna do a panel. So fingers crossed we'll get to see more then. Typically, I'm out all day, so I'll probably catch up with a video a bit later on in the evening. Moving on to a couple of other third party things, Dr. Wu, same as all the other companies, have decided to give us another deco of their Einstein figure. This is, of course, Brains from Revenge of the Fallen in a lovely looking pink deco. And then this is looking amazing. So we've got a first couple of Colour images of Kang Toys take off swoop. I've got these images from Show Z where you can see right there that you can in fact 
pre-order him straight away. And the same with loads of other figures, which I'm just gonna show you now. If you head to Show Z Store, if you open up an account and then put Toys R Us in that bar there, it will greatly help my channel. You'll also, of course, get all your points as well for everything that you purchase. Um, and you can pre-order things like this already. So we've got the Kang Toys Dinobots, we've got the New Age Hoist, there's the Dr. Wu Brains figure. We've got the, there's the Swoop figure I just mentioned. We've got YOLO Park Optimus Primes. We've got 3-0 Optimus Primes. We've got Missing Link figures, DX9 figures, Movie Masterpiece figures. Um, I've already said 3-0. We've got DNA Design Upgrade Kits, Fans Hobby, Fans Toys. Basically everything that you can see here and more apart from Mainline Studio Series and Generations. So that is part one of Transformer Facts Friday. I've got another one in about 18 hours or so that gives the opportunity for anything to happen overnight for myself in the UK. With regards to the YouTube channel, I should, fingers crossed I'll get some of the Legacy Wave 2 done later. Um, the A to Z's going strong, more and more people are getting interested in that. As I mentioned in the stream, the final issue 332 of the UK Transformer Comics is going to go Saturday morning. And as always, I'm going to try and obviously get around to doing the Kang Toys uh, take on Snarl. It's just so big and I need to more practice with it. As always, guys, huge thank you for the support on the channel. As I keep saying, I genuinely love doing this. I'm coming close to my four-year anniversary um, and I'm going to be doing way more, loads more live streams with you because I think they're great fun as well. So I'll see you very soon in one of them. And indeed, if anything else drops massively, which I think might maybe swoop, which I do want to, I want to see, but I don't I want to see it officially revealed, not a leaked image. I will, of course, let you guys know as soon as I find out. Take care, everybody.